Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to quickly show you how you can edit a photograph. Now you can apply these techniques to photographs you've taken yourself, um, but I'm applying it to a screenshot of a street view that I found in, on Google, Google Maps. Right, so the first thing that you might want to do is crop your image. To do that, down the left hand side you click on the crop tool which is here. I am, I'm going to crop it down slightly to get rid of that sort of darkish, darkish top here that you sometimes get on Google Street View images. I'm going to press enter and that's got rid of it quite well. The next thing I'm going to do is get rid of some parts of the image that I don't want to be there. For example, this little bit of rubbish here in the Google sign. I'm going to use the spot healing brush for that. So go down the left hand side, click on the spot healing brush and it's quite a small tool so you can change the size of the tool. Don't make it too big. Um, I'm going to keep it that way. I'm just going to click on that little bit of rubbish there and it disappears. There's a little bit of rubbish here. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of this Google sign. So I'm just going to try and keep it quite close to the Google sign. I don't want to be drawing all over the place. I want to keep it just for the bit I want to get rid of. I'm going to get rid of this cable running along the, oh, we've gone a bit wiggly there, running along the skyline. And I'm going to get rid of the corresponding shadow on the floor. And I'm going to get rid of this dodgy looking sort of liquid that has appeared there. Get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of this down here. So I've made some quite small but important changes to improve the image. So once I've done that and I'm happy that everything has been, has been tinkered with, I can then, I'm just going to do a little bit more down here. I'm then going to use my adjustment layer. So down the bottom here in this layers panel, this circle with a, with a sort of half semicircle shape is I'm going to add some adjustment layers. So the first one is the curves adjustment layer. Now I'm looking at the sort of histogram graph here and I'm going to drag the, the adjustment, the sorry, the curves just up a bit where the graph goes up and across a bit Okay, you can see that it corresponds to where the graph starts to rise. So I'm just making a very minute change there. So that's the first adjustment layer. The second one, so I'm going to click on it again, is I'm going to click on the levels. Levels will work great on some pictures, but not on others. So I'm just going to check, bring the dark level in, the black level in, and the white level down. Sort of brings out, if you go too far, it'll start to look unrealistic. Okay, some pictures work better with this, so it depends on your own image whether it's required. Then the next one I'm going to do is the vibrant. So the vibrant adjustment layer. This is going to really ping out all those lovely colours. So when I bring up the bright, uh, the vibrant there, if I take it too much, you can see how it drastically changes it. But if I drag it up ever so slightly, don't want to make it an unrealistic colour, but I'm bringing out that lovely blue and the lovely blue sky. I'm going to bring up the saturation. If you go too far, you can see that that looks very unrealistic. So I don't want to go too far, but I do want to bring out those lovely colours, the greens coming out now. Um, I'm going to go back into the adjustment layers and I'm going to use the colour balance next one now. Right, now this one I don't think needs it, but on some pictures you might be looking at it and going, it just, it just feels a bit blue, a bit too blue. Well, you can adjust that. You can reduce the blue you can get rid of some of the blue out that looks unrealistic i don't think it's too blue actually but you can get that feeling from some pictures so i've got another picture here this picture looks too blue there's too much blue in the image so you can make it more blue or you can t remove some of the blue so if i remove some of the blue you can see that some of those greeny colors are coming through if you go too far it looks unrealistic so it really is a very fine line with your adjustments, we're making very small adjustments. We're not making drastically large adjustments because that will make it look unrealistic. Just go back to this one. Right, I'm, I'm happy with that now. To get rid of this sort of um, tool here, I'm going to click on that pro. That looks that looks all right. Final thing, save it as a JPEG, file, export, JPEG, and it'll save it, save to your device. Okay, everybody, have fun.